So I'm calling Talia now. Your place in the queue is number two. Oh, that's so great. I love this blue eye. I have never had one before. Is that what happens when you have too much electromagnetic radiation? And people around you get confused and mind controlled. But really, they're not themselves. Your place in the queue is number two. So, uh, but now I'm calling te Swedish Telia to demand a different modem that is not a weapon, that is not <coughs> cooking people, low Your cooking. Place in the queue is number Please have a look on uh, ECRR, Electromagnetic Radiation Unit and Limits, that have been sent to all radiation protection agencies of Europe on the 12th of December. And may the gods be with us. Your place in the queue is number one. Because we are the victims of electromagnetic radiation warfare already. Everybody with these phones, with these modems, you who are using Wi-Fi and mobile data frequently, you are all low cooking yourself and you need to get yourself these devices to get order your call will now be connected into your to life an to control the technology as it tries Welcome to control you. Uh, det är så att uh, det här är en historisk tillfälle och jag bara <coughs> um, Precis som ni har varnat mig att ni kan uh, an, uh, vad heter det? Uh, can we speak English instead? I have hard time. Yeah, sure. Words. We can speak English. Yeah, great. So uh, this is. Um, I'm just. You have told me that uh, this uh, conversation can be taped. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, might be. I don't know if this or it, if it's not, but yeah. sometimes the conversations are taped, yes. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm telling you, you two that this conversation is taped by me. Okay. 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 So, it's yeah, a sure. so it's a fair uh, information. Okay. Uh, the thing is that um, I have a, a huge issue today with you to discuss. I have a modem yes. that is... Uh, emitting electromagnetic radiation. Okay. And uh, I ordered a new one and it came um, to me. I, I took it out um, last day of the year. Hmm? Although I was trying to order it already from uh, middle of December. But anyway, so I got the new modem and it is also emitting enormous amounts of radiation in the in the red levels of uh, electromagnetic uh, radiation measure uh, that I have, Cornet. Okay. And I have to tell you that you probably don't have such a such a measurer, do you? Uh, no, I don't have uh, anything like that. Uh, sorry. So, so you probably are also poorly informed about this issue. Yeah, I, I can. Uh, I. I can see the notes here from uh, when you spoke with us earlier. Yeah. Uh, okay. That, uh, you measured 100 milliwatts per square meter, um, and we uh, switched out the router to see if it improved. That's right. 
And, and that was lovely that <clears throat> you switched the router and then, then we were safe here. But, yeah. but what, <clears throat> when you put the router back, because uh, I got the new modem, yeah? Huh? So we, I thought everything would be good again. Yes. Because it was, there was no electromagnetic radiation before. Um, okay. So this trouble started somewhere, I noticed it in December, and I know I was measuring uh, the router in the middle of November, and it was still safe then. Okay. So what I mean is that just as you could switch off the program of my Wi-Fi, so I didn't get one at all, yeah. I think there is, has been some kind of program change in your Telia system, but okay. by which even when I switch off the Wi-Fi route on the on my router, yeah. the electromagnetic radiation still continues. It doesn't disappear. The the okay. Wi-Fi disappears. The service yeah. of Wi-Fi disappears. But uh, but the level of electromagnetic radiation doesn't disappear even on the blue mode. You know the the blue light. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I will have to take a look at uh, the router then here in the settings and see if there's something uh, that's causing the issue. So what uh, I want you to look at is, I want you to answer me if you have had some program change in the system of your service. Uh, not recently, no, I don't think so. Not in the autumn? I can take a look when uh, uh, I'll have to take a look in the change logs and see if I find anything. Thank you. see here that your, your router doesn't have the latest firmware installed to it and uh, one of the fixes in uh, a later release was the ability to switch off the DEC functionality, a functionality used for cordless phones. Uh, so it might be that uh, it doesn't have the latest software and that's causing the issues. I will see if I can update it here for you. Uh huh. What did you say? What is that software? Uh, the latest software is software version 17, and your router has software version 15. Yeah. Uh huh. Because uh, surprisingly, I. I was measuring the router before and it didn't have any such issues. Mm -hmm. it, it are, was... you, are you sure that the issue is caused by the router? There is no other new uh, equipment? Uh, no, no, when I, when I switch out uh, the router out of internet, there is no, no radiation disappears directly. Okay. So, yeah, so that would be then an option to try that, uh, that you update it, but... Yeah, uh, exactly, and, and then you can log in to the, to the router and check the settings using a computer or if you have a computer connected to it. Uh, and then you can switch off uh, the DECT functionality. Which functionality? Uh, it's called DECT, D-E-C-T. And it's used if you have a cordless phone and you want to connect it uh, using voice over IP. And it's, it uses the same frequencies that uh, Wi-Fi does. But, uh, 
I see. Another purpose. So it's probably some kind of dict uh, setting that is on all the time then? Yes, it might be something like that. Uh, I see, I see. That would, that would uh, make me understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Because uh, that is really dangerous setting. <laughs> In such. Yeah. And, uh, but can't you switch it off? Uh, I can't do it from here. It has to be done in the settings of the router itself, and I can't access uh, those settings. Really? No, uh, not all the settings, just some of them. Okay, but you could, uh, the operator could access the Wi Fi setting. Yes, we can access the Wi Fi settings. But, but not, not the, the dict settings. setting. We can't, we can't change, like, uh, passwords, we can't change uh, dict settings. Uh, okay, that's that's really scary, the thing you're telling me, because most of the people n know nothing about dict settings, you know. They they um, know hard, hardly anything about uh, <coughs> Wi-Fi settings. They just <laughs> go home, put on the modem, get their Wi-Fi going, and they think everything is fine. <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, but, uh, so, okay. At least this uh, is great development that I get to know this. But then I want to know also, do you have any other router or is this technical or the only modem you're using? Uh, this is uh, the standard modem for our customers. Uh, but if you want something that doesn't have any kind of radio capabilities, uh, since you have fiber optics, maybe you could uh, connect the computer straight to the fiber box, and then there would, wouldn't be any Wi-Fi. But then we would lose the ability to put on Wi-Fi occasionally, yeah? Yeah, then you wouldn't have any Wi-Fi, but uh, Wi-Fi is also causing radiation. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know that, but sometimes, if you're exposed to it just for a little while, you, you heal later. Okay. M mainly, most important thing is that you can uh, limit the time uh, and uh, that uh, children don't use it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the, I, then I had another question. Because okay. uh, uh, when we got this problem, then uh, we switched in the wire from the computer directly into the nest that is in the wall, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it was working. Yeah. But then, but then it, it stopped working the next day. <laughs> okay. Uh... So we, ha we could only use it through the modem. Okay. Uh, I don't generally work with uh, fiber optic customers. Yeah. Uh, but we use the same routers for uh, phone line broadband, so that's uh, how I knew uh, about the deck settings and stuff like that. But if you have more specific questions regarding how to connect it up uh, to the fiber, then I will have to transfer you to the fiber department. I see. Okay, that's fabulous news. Uh, you have been extremely helpful because I. Ha but but now you will uh, have to listen to me at uh, because um, what was your name? Uh, Matthias Matthias Svensson. Uh, thank you so much for being uh, so so uh, <clears throat> uh, informed. Because uh, when I called uh, some of your colleagues twenty uh, seventh uh, of December, they didn't know a thing about these things, no. uh, and they didn't even know that that this could affect health. And I was asking for somebody responsible for health, and they said that there is nobody. But is that true? Uh, as far as I know, uh, we don't have anyone that's responsible for uh, that kind of health because the equipment is uh, approved by uh, uh, by the government uh, authorities as they have branded it safe, and that's what we uh, then we accept that we don't have anyone uh, specific here at Helia that works with uh, the wifi settings. But we have added the ability to turn off, for example, the DECT functionality because we had customers that wanted it done. Yeah, but so you... we, we listen to our customers and we uh, bring up uh, the issues that customers have, but we don't have anyone 
particular just working with uh, health factors. Yeah. So generally, uh, who would be the responsible then? It, that would be uh, CEO, Viedia? Uh, I, I can't really give uh, an answer because I don't really know who would be the ultimate responsible. So I, I need uh, some kind of contact here. Whom, who, whom do I write to about these issues? Uh, you can always write to Elia directly if you want to. You could send a letter. Uh, and I can see here that uh, it's noted here in the logs that uh, someone was trying to call you and chef, uh, but there was no answer. I see. W which on the 18th. 18th of, uh, of okay. December. Oh, I was I was on the boat. I was out of reach then. I was in the sea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you. It would be very helpful if they could try to reach me again. Be and uh, generally, can you give me an email where I can write? Uh, let's see, I think you have used the standard email address that's on tlia.se. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the only one we have. Uh, 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 what is it? Is it support or something? If you want to send an ordinary letter, it's Telia Sverige AB, box 50077-9732-2 Livlio. I'm looking for an email address as well. Thank you. We don't have any email directly, you have to go through telia.se slash contact and there you can write to us. Okay. Uh, and, if, and if you have uh, specific issues with how uh, wireless internet and stuff like that uh, is used in the society, you could always contact uh, contact post or telestyrelsen at pts.se. I see. Oh, post or telestyrelsen, what is that? Yeah, they, they work with, uh, they're a government uh, uh, institution and they work with, uh, yeah, stuff uh, like networks and... Uh, okay, very yeah. nice idea, yeah, thank you, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Do you have any further questions? Yeah, I, I will just, uh, I'm just getting started. I, so, so generally the issue is that... Um, <clears throat> My name is Dita Rietuma, you can see that, yeah? Uh, Dita, yes. Yes, and uh, I work for European Committee on Radiation Risk. Okay. And uh, it is a, a controversial subject um, because Strålsäkerhetsmyndigheten uh, yeah. does not address it. And, okay. and uh, we consider it to be a criminal corporation. Okay. And it is uh, um, conducting a, a, a business that is uh, destroying people's health. And yeah. uh, <clears throat> it's unfortunate that you don't have uh, any responsible because um, we really need to <clears throat> uh, 
provide to you uh, directly as directly involved in the very business that is used by <clears throat> most of people in Sweden, yeah? So yeah. we're talking millions of people who are exposed to this technology, yeah? yeah? And as you, right now in this conversation, you yourself uh, experienced that most of people don't know these dict uh, systems and, uh, and they hardly understand what Wi-Fi does. They mo mainly don't, don't have any understanding that there might be some risk of getting um, st sterilized by these technologies. We're talking no. really that there, there we are. This is serious technology that might make um, all these children uh, sterile. They, no, they, no. they could really lose their capacity to reproduce and uh, get various diseases, the whole range of diseases. And um, so, so many specialists address this technology as. Uh, hidden warfare yeah. okay so after yeah. so because because uh, it is right now everywhere and people are unsuspecting of its dangers and you and using it in a big dependency of they they have become psychologically dependent on it they love it yeah rightfully so it's fabulous uh, product yeah mm -hmm. but as they don't know the dangers then they are um it is um civilization extinction threatening technology yeah and you Matthias Svensson are the guy to get this information from me Dieter Rietuma and uh, I provide it into your uh, responsible hands as as uh, a fabulous human being you are <laughs> Thank you. and uh, I, I entrust you uh, to um, check this on and uh, we have um, a web page where you can directly find it, and it is uh, BSRRW, <laughs> Baltic Sea Region Radi Radiation Watch. Okay. .org. Yeah. org. And uh, we have um, ex is, uh, re recently uh, contacted all European uh, radiation protection agencies with uh, this risk modeling uh, limit unit. But we don't expect that they will do anything because they are corrupt. And uh, it's up to us people in the system to really dig into it and to be responsible. Because uh, those uh, movies they are making about next infertile generation, they know what they're doing. <laughs> and uh, only we can protect ourselves. And uh, uh -huh. I will have to read more about this before I can make an informed decision. I've um, heard about it before, but I, uh, I haven't read enough about it to uh, feel uh, certain about anything. Yeah. Anyway... Um, you have to provide this to your chiefs, and they have to call me, yeah? Okay, I can ask them to call you, yes. Uh, I can't make any promises, but I, I, know. Can, uh, I can uh, tell them that you want to get in contact with them, and they will, when yeah. they have the time, try and call you. Yeah, and, and then there is one more piece of information. Please, okay. uh, please write down uh, Indigenous World Order Court of Godland. Godland, God, Godland. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah? And, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, it is a court of local people, okay. like Viking courts were before. Yeah, uh, yeah. Duma, yeah, yeah. Yeah? And uh, we have re-established them because uh, we are out of options here, because the courts and the agencies are corrupt. So uh, we, we will be sending uh, Telia CEO uh, information about this, that uh, this corporation is under investigation of courts of uh, Indigenous World Order of Godland. And 
And this is a crime of mass genocide. Crime of mass genocide, okay? So uh, that, that hopefully will make them take a bit of time to uh, check this up. Yeah, yeah, I will uh, tell them everything you told me and they will get in contact with you. Thanks so much, Matthias, and may the gods be with us and may you have a wonderful year and our people too. Thank you, and have a nice day and a nice year, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> that was fabulous conversation. He was really knowledgeable. I was so so glad I got him, because the other people didn't know anything. So we can this switch off it. it it's some kind of uh, portable phone device, and I have this beautiful, beautiful instrument that is actually Kuokle harp and it's called in the same it's the same kind of instrument what they have used to call this dreadful weather weapon that is called harp but this is the divine true harp Kuokle that I will now play to celebrate the love um, I stay slowly. I'm disturbed by that sound. Uh, I need just one minute, please. <coughs> Can you? I'm waiting. <laughs> so, this is fabulous development. So, <coughs> We can inform people how to switch off this terrible radiation. And that is my beautiful, beautiful, mentally challenged daughter that went on the balcony. She who gave me the blue eye. <laughs> but we will take care of each other. We will win this electromagnetic war and I will learn to play this harp and also that weather weapon harp we will take control over we will <laughs> May the gods be with us. Maybe, maybe, may we love each other so much that we stop these insane <laughs> weather weapons and electromagnetic radiation weapons. May we protect each other. Because this love that we feel to each other is divine. And it is the foremost proof that the gods love us. And as long as we love each other, they will protect us. even tuned. It's the hardest thing to tune it.
and the candle has just burned down. Just as we have managed this magic task, this divine work that we have done here today with this blue eye of mine. It's huge. Just hit me here. And it's huge bump. It was ooh. And now it has gravitated down. But it's great because it's a vis visible injury. But these electromagnetic injuries, they are not visible. You can't see how you get infertile, how you low cook your children with them. So wake up and protect them. Yeah. Mm -hmm.